In this training, we will use the web console to manage both an agent on our account and the data it captures. After logging in, I am taken to the Mozenda Home tab. Let's start by going over the different tabs. Home, Agents, Collections, and Folders. This training will focus on the Agents tab. If I click on the Agents tab, I can see a list of the agents that I have built. I can mass manage a number of agents by using the checkbox. In the context bar, several options appear. Run, Pause, Resume, Cancel, and Combine Data. The numbers that are present with these options changes based on how many agents have active jobs. Additional actions can be found under the More Actions menu. Clicking on an individual agent displays the agent dashboard, which is where I manage my agent and its associated data collection. To change the amount of data that I see, I simply change the value in the Items per Page menu. Next to this menu, I can see the total number of items this agent has collected. To view data that has entered the collection since the page was loaded, I can refresh the data table by using the Table Refresh button. This is especially helpful if I'm viewing the agent's table while the agent has a job running. I'd like to reorder my columns so that I see the most important data first. To do this, I click on the View Settings icon in the upper right and choose Edit. In the window that appears, I'll click and drag the fields into the order that I want. When I'm finished, I'll click Save. This new column order is automatically saved and will still be the column order when I visit this agent again in the future. There's a lot of data here that I don't want. For instance, I'm only interested in products that have above a 4.7 star rating and that have had 100 or more customer reviews. To do this, I need to create a custom view. I'll click on the View Settings icon, shaped like a gear, in the upper right, and choose Create a New View. The name should describe the view's function, in my case, 4-7 and above. It should be noted that view names can only contain letters, numbers, and hyphens, and are limited to 40 characters. Next, I'll select the columns I'd like in this view. I can choose any combination of fields being collected by this agent. Any fields I leave unselected will be hidden in this view. These will still be collected and will be visible in the All Items view. I'll choose the order as shown earlier by dragging the fields into the desired order. To create the criteria I need, I'll click on the Criteria tab. As mentioned before, our desired criteria is to view only products with a 4.7 rating or higher and only products with 100 or more customer reviews. I'll start by selecting the Star Rating field. Once selected, I'm shown a list of possible criteria. I'll choose is greater than or equal to, enter 4.7 into the value field, and choose Add. I can see the criteria added to the criteria list for this view. I can modify or remove this criteria at any time in the future. I'll repeat this process for customer reviews. First, I'll choose the Reviews field, and then select greater than or equal to, and enter 100 into the value field and click Add. To finish, I'll choose Save. The data table displays only that data which passes the criteria I've created, allowing me to view only the data I care about most. Now that I've set up this agent's data collection to behave exactly the way that I want, I'd like to download the current data set. To download the data directly to my computer, I'll open the Tools menu and choose Export. I'll choose the view I want applied to the data before downloading. In this case, I want to download the current view and the file format. The options are CSV, TSV, 
and XML. It should be noted that while I may download data in these formats, data can only be uploaded to Mozenda as a CSV file. Finally, I'll choose Download. This will download a copy of this agent's current data set directly to my computer. While not comprehensive, this training covered some core essentials you need to manage an agent and its data. If you have more questions about managing an agent or its data, click here to visit the Mozenda Help Center or here to contact support.